My name is Anita Bentata. I am a professional speaker and the author of The Wolf in a Suit. I'm also a survivor of domestic violence and a professional psychotherapist who's been working in the field for over 20 years. Today, I want to focus on silver bullet priority number five to target relationship abuse. This is emotional muscle. What do I mean when I say emotional muscle? Emotional muscle is the capacity to be able to be with the uncomfortable, to be able to notice it, be with it, and talk about it. Often, it's that elephant in the room, those things that we notice and we're so used to just putting them aside and ignoring it that we don't even think about talking about it. We need to be talking about the elephant in the room. But we need to know how to do it in a way that's effective and useful. Too many people don't want to talk about the uncomfortable because they're either concerned that it will mean that they will alienate those who they love, get them upset and angry, or they're worried and they talk about it and in a way that's not useful. And so they blurt it out even when their intention is meaning the best They'll often say and do things that aren't helpful. So we need to be able to be with our own emotional muscle, our experience of our unconscious thoughts and feelings that influence what's okay for us to focus on and what's not. Very often we will kick into talking about thoughts and beliefs to keep away from our uncomfortable feelings. We will be willing to talk about something rather than be with it. An emotional muscle requires us to be with something. We can talk about something till the cows come home, but it's not going to change it. We have to be able to walk inside it and be in it and be affected and know how to not be overwhelmed by that effect, but be able to feel it and talk about it at the same time. Otherwise, we're going to always want to just, why does she do that? Why does he do that? And it can feel very safe and comfortable to keep trying to understand why. And very often survivors keep trying to understand why. But there's no rational reason why someone is abusive. It's not like you're doing anything wrong, that nothing that you're doing is triggering the abuse. We can get caught in all these myths and all these questions about why as an avoidance of being with the feelings and the things that don't make sense. We want everything to make sense. We're meaning-making creatures, but not everything makes sense. We can understand it from a context of trauma and that we're in a society that is infused with trauma, from domestic violence to generational trauma, from refugees, from wars. We've got a whole lot of trauma that impacts how our capacities are to engage and relate to relationships and stress. So there's a lot to understand and work with. And I run talks and workshops for survivors, community and professionals to help each person be able to build their emotional muscle, be with the feelings and know what to say and how to talk about what's really going on. Thank you for wanting to make a difference. My name is Anita Bentata from Activating Artemis. Please contact me from the contact details below so we can work out what's the best direction for you.